we've officially hit a new level of AI video because Kling just dropped their brand new Kling O1 video model and it's seriously good. So I am gonna put it to the test. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Input anything, understand everything, generate any vision. That's the message that's rolling out alongside the brand new Kling O1 Omni level model now available within our list. The Kling Video O1 model is the first in the video gen field to integrate a wide range of tasks, reference to video, text to video, start and end frame generation, video content editing, modifications, transformations, restyling, and camera extension, all under one unified model. Think of it like Nano Banana, but for video generation. So today we're gonna run a few tests and see exactly what the new model can do. All right, getting started. So I'm gonna head on over to artlist.io and let's go ahead and click on start for free right now. Just gonna continue with Google. Now, by the way, Artlist features all of the heavy hitter models, including Kling O1 Video, Klingo One Image, Nano Banana Pro, Flux 2 Pro, Sora 2 Pro, VO 3.1, Kling 2.5 Turbo, and the list goes on. You know, I'm gonna jump straight into Kling O1 video. So let's click right here and let's jump into things. So we just wanna make sure we've got our video model selected right here. So we've got Kling O1 video selected. And as you can see, it is a brand new model within the platform. All right, now for this first test, I'm gonna jump straight into the start and end frames. So this is where we can go ahead and upload a start frame and an end frame. So I have a starting image idea for this one. So I'm just gonna come on over to a search that I made earlier. Okay, now I'm gonna use this image right here. So let's go ahead and drag that image into the Dropbox right here. Okay, and then here is my end frame image idea. So I'm also gonna go ahead and drag that into the prompt box in the end box. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have a prompt in mind for this one. I'm just gonna drop it in right here. It's super simple. Animate the transition between these frames. Keep the same character identity, match the lighting, cinematic slow drift. We've got our model selected 16 by nine. I'm gonna go with 10 seconds, 1080p, and let's go ahead and click on animate. Okay, so I actually made two different generations. So this one is my five second one. All right, and this looks incredibly consistent. We've got a totally natural transition from the first shot to the second shot. So it does it in a very seamless way. And then we have the 10 second version. So this is twice as long, similar kind of idea, more of a concert setting and we can see some of the people actually disperse from the concert at the beginning. Again, the transition is super smooth and we've got the same proportions and consistency. All right, for this next one, I'm gonna come on over to AI image because I have a really good idea. Now under AI image, we're gonna make sure we have image to image selected and we've got the Kling O1 model selected as well. Okay, so here's my idea. So I got this image right here, kind of have a pirate girl kind of a look and then I have this helmet and I'm gonna find a way to join these two images together. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag in the pirate girl right here. Then I'm going to drag in my helmet. Okay. And here's my prompt idea. She's wearing the helmet completely over her head. Okay. Let's click on generate. All right, here we go. Here is our image. She is wearing the helmet perfectly on her head. And again, here is that initial reference image so we can see the consistency shining through. Okay. Now I'm back over on AI video. I have image to video selected. I'm going to make sure I have Kling O1 video selected as well. And then I'm going to take that initial reference reference image and I'm going to drag it in here. So just this one right here. And then I'm going to drag our image generation with the addition of the helmet on her head. Okay, now let's try this idea on for size. She puts the helmet over her head, slight smirk, subtle pan inwards. I've got my model selected 16 by nine. I want 10 seconds, 1080p. Let's go ahead and click on animate. All right, here we go. Here is our creation. And this is exactly what I had in mind. This is super, super epic. She's putting on the helmet. Everything feels extremely natural, very consistent. Uh, the helmet looks really great too. So she goes ahead and pulls up the helmet, puts it on her head. Our character has a slight little smirk, just like I directed in the prompt. I'm very happy with my output here. All right, I'm gonna do one more generation for good measure. So we'll have AI video selected. And for this last one, let's go with text to video. And we're gonna go with the Kling 2.5 turbo model. All right, so we've got this selected. And here is my prompt for this one. A neon lit alleyway, slow handheld, push in on a female character, particles drifting through the light, 
dramatic atmosphere. Got our model selected, 16 by nine. I'm gonna go with 10 seconds, 1080p. Let's click on generate. All right, so here's our output. It is super clean, very lifelike. Now the model Kling 2.5 Turbo is designed for polished cinematic uploads and it generates motion that's noticeably smoother than the older versions. Now, if you wanna try any of these models for yourself, of course the link is gonna be in the description and pinned comment below. And just a recap, Kling 2.5 Turbo is solid for fast cinematic clips, while Klingo 1 is the model that gives you complete and total control with your outputs. And remember, our list is the home of all the heavy hitter models on the market today. So I definitely recommend you give the platform a try if you haven't already yet. And with all that, good luck and have fun with your creations.